In a small Silicon Valley office, Salman Khan is using simple illustrations and lingo to explain math, science, history, and even business concepts. If this does not blow your mind, then you have no emotion. The 10 to 20 minute tutorials on KhanAcademy.org are free to anyone, anywhere. Sal, you have found the answer, man. Hopefully, we've got a lot of work to do. No, I'm serious, because <laughs> you've opened up the world of learning to the world. The best way to get at the, the core of most issues, whether it's you know, poverty, health care, whatever, is just making, even democracy, is making sure you have an educated population. And, and so the technology is now making it so that the delivery cost of that education is going pretty close to zero. Instead, you get 31, instead of negative 31. Dean Brettel uses Khan Academy as a tool for homeschooling his two children. What I like about it, and what I think the um, kids like about it, is that you can um, work at your own pace. They don't understand the video, but they can pause it, they can rewind it, they can watch it multiple times. Seven. And you already got the twos. And with Khan, you have to master all the material before moving on, with only hints to help you. If you're struggling with something in a regular school, and uh, you don't get it, but you take the test, and you get a C. A C on the test. Can't move on with a C here. That's right. You're trying to kick teachers out because that's what a lot of teachers then start to think. No, it, it's, it's the complete opposite. What it does, at least in my mind, it would make the job of teaching a lot more fun because they, they come in every day and they get to actually be guides and mentors for these students. Like fifth grade teacher Richard Julian, his Los Altos, California school uses Khan lessons in math class. The software tracks each student's progress. And by doing that, uh, it allows the teacher um, to know their students very well. It allows them to know their strengths. It allows them to know their weaknesses. Khan Academy is a nonprofit, but it's backed by Bill Gates and Google. You could make money from this, you know. <laughs> you could make a lot of money from how many how many distinct users do you have per month? It's it's pushing two million now. You're the math guy, <laughs> but a dollar a piece <laughs> isn't that much to charge. Yeah. You're doing this for free, partner. What, what gives? <laughs> well, you, you know, uh, if Khan Academy was for profit, it would limit the number of kids who would use it. Hopefully when I'm 80, I can say, wow, there's a billion kids that use it, and, may and maybe we'll continue to use it. And maybe even after I'm gone, this can be an institution that can last for 100 years or 200 years.